Chapter 1 More About Plants We all know that our Earth is the only planet which supports life. However, for life to go on, all living things must produce more of their kind, that is, they must reproduce. Thus, reproduction becomes an important process of the continuity of life on the Earth. Reproduction in plants is important not only for them but for animals and human beings also. Reproduction in plants We see a variety of plants in our surroundings. Plants and animals reproduce to produce more of their kind. The process is known as reproduction. Plants reproduce in many ways, from seeds, from different parts of the plant. Growing plants from seeds most plants bear flowers. Flowers grow into fruits. Fruits contain seeds inside them. Some fruits have only one seed in them, while some others have a large number of seeds. Structure of a seed Although seeds of different plants may differ in size, shape and color, they have parts which are common. The seeds have a hard covering called the seed coat. It protects the seed from being damaged. Do you know what is inside a seed? Soak a few bean seeds for 2 to 3 days. Observe the soaked bean seeds. You will notice that the seed coat has become soft. You will see seed leaves. The seed leaves inside a seed are called cotyledons. These cotyledons contain all the food supply for the baby plant. Seeds with two cotyledons are called dicotyledons or dicot seeds. For example, kidney beans. A corn seed has only one cotyledon and is called and is called monocotyledons or monocot seeds. Once the open the cotyledons, the baby plant inside it is called embryo. The embryo has a shoot and a root. The shoot later on grows out of the ground into the stem and the root spreads and the roots spread under the ground. Germination of a seed Most plants grow from seeds, but all the seeds do not grow into plants. Only rip and healthy seeds, which get all the favorable conditions, grow into new plants. Germination is the process by which a seed produces a baby plant or seedling in the presence of water, air or warmth. If any one condition is missing, the seeds will not germinate. Sci fat. Coco dimmer is a native palm of the Cyclius island, which bears the largest seed in the entire plant kingdom. Activity time. Take three bean seeds. Mark them as seed A, B, and C. Tie them at different levels. On a glass plate, as shown in the figure, put the plate with the bean seeds inclined inside a beaker, half filled with water for two to three days. The plate should be placed in such a way that the seed fixed in the middle remains half immersed. The embryo root pushes the seed coat. It grows down into the soil and forms the root. The cotyledons are pulled upward. The baby plant called seedling starts coming out of the cotyledon. The stem grows longer and the leaves appear first. When the leaves develop completely, the cotyledons fall off. Later, the branches, buds, flowers and fruits appear. The process of germination is thus completed. Seed disperses. Plants cannot move from one place to another. So, if all seeds fall and germinate near the parent plant, they would not get enough sunlight, air, water, minerals and space to grow. Because of this, many seedlings would not survive. Hence, Nature helps to scatter these seeds. The process of scattering of seeds of fruits away from the parent plant is called dispersal. Seeds are carried away from the parent plant to far off places by wind, water, animals or explosion of food. Wind, water and animals are called the agents of dispersal. Dispersal by wind. Some seeds are carried away to a new place by the wind. These seeds are very light in weight like seeds of the orchid which are as light as dust. Some seeds are hairy like seeds of dandelion and milkweed. 
These hair growth act as little parachutes which carry the seeds far away from the parent plant. The seeds of maple and elm trees have wings so that they can be easily carried away by the wind. Dispersal by water The seeds or fruits of plant that grow in or near flowing water gets dispersed by water. The coconut has a fibrous outer covering. It has air trapped between its fibers. The lotus has a spongy fruit. These features enable them to float on water. Dispersal by animals Some seeds have hooks, spines or stiff hair. These help the seeds to stick to the hair in the bodies of animals. Animals, feathers or birds are also to our clothes. These seeds are then carried from one place to another. Birds and some animals often swallow seeds while feeding on fruits, such as berries. The seeds then come out of their way. Seeds also get dispersed when we eat fruits such as mango, papaya, and melon and throw away the seed. Dispersal by explosion Some plants have pods that explode when ripe and shoot out their seeds to distant places. Pea and bean plants also keep their seeds in a pod. When seeds become ripe and the pod dries, it bursts open to scatter the pea and bean seeds. Reproduction from different parts of plants In most plants, new plants grow from seeds. In some cases, however, new plants can also grow from different parts of the parent plant, such as roots, leaves or stems. Reproduction from roots Sweet potato and carrot are roots that store food. When replenished, these roots grow into new plants. Re is planted in the soil. New shoots grow from the bird on the very cutting. Money plant and strawberry too grow from stem cutting. Potato and ginger plants have underground stems. They have small buds on them. When a portion of the stem is planted in the soil, new plants grow from these buds. Onion and garlic plants have underground stems called bulbs. New plants grow from these bulbs. Activity time. Take a piece of potato which has tiny buds. Bury it in the soil near your house. After a few days, you will see a new plant growing from it. Sci fact. Squirrels collect nuts which they hide for winter. However, they often forget where they have buried the nuts. Later on, these nuts may grow into trees. Reproduction from leaves. In some plants, such as bryophyte,